Whenever you're ready. May I please the court, opposing counsel, and members of the jury. Two innocent lives were taken from one man's arrogance. Uh, Tatum was a lies to the defendant, willfully uh, disregarded the risks with lifting of heavy materials in a construction site. These, uh, his disregard of safety and precaution left two people dead. I'm Hunter Adcock, and today with my co-counsel, I'll be presenting a case against Tatum's lies. He is being charged with two accounts of third-degree murder with malice. The site started out good. Tatum's Elias hired Emerson Turkin to run the site. Emerson Turkin, for never running big site in the beginning, only had two safety precautions, meaning two safety citations. Emerson's precaution was too slow for Elias. Elias started coming to the site more and more often as the deadline for his bonus grew closer. Zelias eventually bought an apartment next to the site and was on site almost 24-7. He took over control from Emerson Turkin. Emerson Turkin's own employees did not even, when own foreman would not go to him for permission for bigger tasks. Emerson Turkin lost his power and Zelias with the Zelias in charge, Elias started calling all the shots. It came down to the day. It was getting closer to the deadline around August, and two roofing panels had to be placed on top of Project Z, Tatum's Elias's construction site. Uh, when closing to the date of construction site, August 31st, two heavy rain and heavy winds from Hurricane Isaac came off the East Coast. Tatum's Elias knew the risk and he went along, he decided for the lift to go on and that caused the death of two people. We'll back this up with Emerson Turkin's testimony and he'll testify about how the safe was on site, how the site was not safe at all and how he had lost control and how there is information showing that the lift was dangerous to Tatum's Elias. We will show with Quinn Baxter how, how the site was unsafe, and we'll show with her report of the crash that why the, why the crash occurred, and it will shoot down the defense's point that a simple homeless man could possibly take down a sophisticated crane. And with London Packard, the simple street man, he will, say, he will testify about how, about how the site was unsafe, he could even see that not being in construction safety, and how Arthur Dent could not, was harmless and would not have taken down a sophisticated crane again. Uh, we will also show, we will reinforce the fact that the crane was over weight limit, and over, the crane's lift was over the weight limit, and the wind speed was too high for the lift, with uh, Exhibit 5, a piece of evidence. Uh, with Exhibit 7, it will show the winds at the time, and Emerson Turkin gave that information about the winds being too high to Tatum's Elias. And at the end of this trial, you'll see exactly how Tatum's Elias willfully disregarded the safety of his, co his the people underneath of him, and how that led to the death of two people.